Good morning, hello everybody. This is Uber Guy from Boston. So the time now is 9:51 a.m. on a Saturday morning, March 9, 2024. Hey guy, I would like to share with you about this car that I just rent from Lyft about two days ago. So this is the third time, third time I rent the car. I do rental car from Lyft. This time because you know my car have a broken transmission, and the suspension went off, and water bomb, totally the car is now gone. Okay, so I don't have a car for now, and I don't want to go back to a car loan. So for now, just temporary. I I do a rental car. To live in Boston, New York, or somewhere in San Francisco, you don't um, you don't need to have a car. I live very close to Boston. So last week, my car dead. My car is died. Uh, during uh, I have. Uh, during the trip, I have uh, one females, and I call the tolls and the Boston police came and helped me to push the car on the side of the road, and I pay a hundred dollar for the tolls, and the mechanic he say the transmission is broken. But which is his right because uh, that is the mechanic that I go to all the time for my car maintaining. And uh, I was driving, you know, about 25 miles per hour. And somehow, you know, the engine is running, but I cannot shift and the car is broken. Like the car cannot move. And then after 10 minutes, the entire engine electric went out, shut down, and the car cannot shift. So I predict, as I predict, because all this time I used the car for full-time Uber. So I have spoke to a few of my um, riders, you know, about when we talk about, you know, something and I say, to my rider that I predict my car it will last for for another year but it died so early it, it died more than I expect but I expect the car it was a 2017 Toyota Corolla and my mechanic said that in order to replace a new transmission it costs, uh, include labor, everything is $3,600. And if I just sell the car for Savit, like for, you know, parks, uh, parks out the car, the mechanics say only the car only sell for 2000 with the, the transmission debt. So I, I'm no longer, I, I don't bother because if I replace that uh, transmission of my own car, I know that the timing bell or whatever, something else, because like I said, you know, I use that for Uber full time. If I fix this, you know, something else, water bomb, alternate, alternator, everything gonna be die soon. So anyways, so when the car died out, right, I used the bus in Boston. I used the metro, the subway, you know, to commute everywhere in the city. It's very fast, you know, very convenient. You don't really need a car in Boston. So the reason today I want to share with you about this car, right, I'm not happy. And let me explain to you why I'm not happy. The last two times, right, I'm, I'm okay, you know, everything went well. 
And another thing, right? The reason I rent, I do rental car would live because if I do for Uber, uh, if I do rental for Uber, Uber asking me to put um, two hundred dollar uh, refundable deposit, security deposit, plus they ask for first week rental, which is three hundred and twenty five dollar. Include together is f- almost five hundred thirty dollar upfront. I must have that, so I don't want that. And if you do with lift, right? All you need is fifty dollar. Fifty dollar. That's all you you need to put uh, down for the security deposit, because they need that money just in case if you. Use your personal mice and you go through the toes. You know, they make sure you pay the toes. So the last two time, right? I'm happy with 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 my rental car from Lip, but this time it's no good. Um. So basically, you know, when you come into Lip, uh, flex drive right in the office, the green hoop office. They have a ton ton of the car. It depend on you know like when you came in right. It depend on the the technician, um, you know the person working the uh, lift green herb. It depend on are they in a good mood, uh, are they friendly? Because the last two time I met nice, um, there is some gentleman guys, but somehow all I see totally every time I come in, I see the ladies. I never met a guy, but they do have a gentleman. So it depends on their mood. If they good in a good mood, if you likable, you know somehow, right? And then when they do a paperwork, hang you the car, they will give you a, you know, a a nice car like a Toyota Corolla. The first time I I do, um, lip flex drive. The first time they gave me. A uh, Toyota Corolla. The second time they give me a white Nissan, look exactly like this one, but it's better than this one. This one, they give me uh, this car with the you know the advertise. I'm gonna step out of the car and show you the halo, the advertise, and you know I I'm not happy. I don't like that. So, um. So it depends, right? When you coming in, if they friend with you, you likable. It depend on if the person you know they like you or something, right? They friendly, they will give you a nice car. How do I say? How do I? I I, I think like that because last time I went into a lift office to do a rental car. You you guys remember my old video with the white car. That time, right, the white lady she gave me a white Nissan with the halo on the top, with the uh, with the TV on the top. I said, no, no, I don't want a TV. And she switched me to the another car with the without the TV on the top, without the halo. This time, the lady I can tell you she not nice to me. How how did I know she's not nice to me? I came in. On my appointment, uh, Friday I came in. She, uh, the lady, she don't want to come and help me right away. She make me sit, sit down and wait, which is I it never happened to me. So she don't have anybody, right? She make me wait, and I wait. I you know I'm patient, okay? You do what you gotta do. And then uh, one gentleman and another white lady. I remember that lady from the last time she gave me a white Nissan car. So the white lady say, "Okay, Quark, you sit down there. When I done with the client, I will help you." And another guy come in, and he say, um, I'm here for the rental car. I said yes, and he said, "Let me done. Let him done with the customer. He will come and help me." And certainly, that you know, lady looks so angry and not friendly coming now, and 
she said to another two person, I take him. And she coming out, oh my God, I can, you know, you, you look people in the eye, you read their face, you can tell they are not in the, they don't have a good day, they kind of lazy. And then she walked me out with this car, right? And I, when I see the halo, the TV on the top, I say, no, no, I don't like the, 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 TV, the advertise, the halo, the TV on the top. She said, yeah, but this is the only one we have. But I know she lied. Because I walk in the lot. I see, you can tell with, like, when you see the car, they park with this kind of logo. And this, you can tell they have a many. Uh, she said, because those people, uh, those car is already reserved for, for other people appointment. What the heck? I was making an appointment too, you know? Anyway, I think because, you know, I don't pay um, a rental car uh, more money. I just pay this car uh, basic. So I rent this car, right? If you do pay as you go, pay as you go, that means you only use a car for for right share, no, no personal mileage. If you turn up the app, you go somewhere, you buy a coffee, you go grocery, or you go here and there, right? On additional, on the top of that, pay as you go. It's like you using the phone, prepay phone, right? They charge you by the minutes. So here is here is the the uh, the symbol. Very, for example, first time I do unlimited, unlimited my, unlimited miles, unlimited mileage. You pay three hundred twenty, three hundred dollar twenty, three hundred twenty dollar a week. That's unlimited, but because if I only want to do one. 180 because the reason that I am not using a lot of uh, personal mileage and I don't drive all day long I don't drive everybody I sit down and I do cherry pick and if you sit down you do cherry pick like me it does not make sense that you do the unlimited you know if you do unlimited mileage and you have to use it if you don't use it you waste your money. But this time, last time, I did the 180, just, you know, pay as you go. So, if you somehow, if you do a personal mile, right, leave, they're going to charge you a dollar and 25 cents. So, let's say um, you go into leave, uh, you do a pay as you go, pay as you go rental. And that is only a hundred and eighty dollar. But if you use your own personal mileage, like you go to buy a coffee, you go to grocery store, every personal miles you have to pay a dollar and twenty five cents. They charged me before. Last time I I did a pace as you go. This time I ran this one. For two hundred and eighty dollar, include fee, everything, with eighty personal miles. So that means when I done with the customer, if I use this car for my own personal, they don't charge me a dollar and twenty five cents because the the way the rental the agreement, I already include with eighty personal. Miles in in this rental, so it's two hundred and eighty dollar. It's still cheaper than the unlimited mileage for three hundred and and twenty dollar. Anyway, my first choice is unlimited, but when I came in uh, on a different day be before yesterday, I came into a different location to the the flex drive, leaf flex drive, in a different town in. Um, East Boston. I went there. They say, sorry, Mr. Quack, we don't have a car for you. 
they ask me to come back, reschedule to come back next week, but I say no. So that's why I came to a different location and I have no joy. But I take this car. It's because the lady said this is the only car that she have. But I know that she she misled me. You know she dishonest. But that's okay. That's how they do business. Imagine if Lyft and Uber they are honesty. They don't cut the pay. You know they don't do anything to to take our money, steal our money. You know everything. So. Let me go out and show you the the halo on the top. The halo on the top, right? When you when you shut down the engine, when you shut down the engine, they don't show you anything. This thing they take the battery from the car right here. The battery on the car, you see, they don't use the um, solar electric. They use the um, the battery from the car. This thing right here, when you drive on the highway, it make a lot of noise. And that thing right there cannot go into the car wash. Cannot go into the car wash. Okay, and this car, when you do rental, right, you must bring your own uh, car phone holder for the first time. If you walk in, you forget to bring it in, and you don't have the, you know, the phone. This time I forgot, you know, so... I done a few after I... I, I, I Side agreement. I start on, you know, I go online right away to, to make money. I have to go to TJ Max over there to buy this for seven dollar, and the car they don't include, um, you know, this charger. So you, when you do rental, you, you have to bring this and that. Okay, guys. So let me um, let me turn on 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 the car and and I show you the the halo with the advertise on. Okay, so I just um, turn on the car right now. Go look. When you turn on the car, that thing is go on. See, yeah. When the car sat down, it don't show. So, how much does Lee pay me that? Okay, the lady, she said that um, they only count when that uh, halo on. They pay you about maximum no more than 50 cents per hour. But they take some fee, some tax. She say most mostly you get paid about no more than twenty dollar a week. They take up the fee, everything. But she say fifty cent, fifty cent half a dollar per hour. That's what the lady told me. So you don't you don't make much money on that. Okay, and here is the thing, guy. The reason I want to do review for you guys because if you never rent, do rental for rideshare, you never do rental of, uh, or from Uber or Lyft. Okay, so when you do rental, right, you do only your last resort. You don't want to thinking for the long term. Because it's very risky. The lady told me, right? If the car breaks down, you know, something is wrong, you know. You have to pay, you know, uh, some kind of money. Unless you buy the 
car insurance. When you do the rental, you must buy car insurance. If you don't buy car insurance, something is wrong with. Let's like say if somehow the car break down for any reason, you gotta pay for that. If you don't buy insurance, that's what the, based on the lady told me. And when she give me this car, right? The windshield wiper is broken. Let me show you guys. Very, very bad. Look. Look. You guys hear the big noise? And, and look at the windshield. I, I just got the car two days ago. Look at the windshield. The wiper. Look at the wiper. Right here. It's broken. It's broken. And they don't even do the oil gen or maintain the car, right? After I got this car, I read on this right here. The last person who ran this car, right? They do the oil change at Firestone. Right here, right? It said that in about a week, based on the mileage, on, on the label the day over here, they say that um, in about one more week, I have to do the oil change. That means I lost my time, you know? I lost my time. You know? This is already here. Okay? And let me show you the trunk. Very bad inside the trunk. Because the lady told me I have to get this car. If I don't, that's the only car they have. So I have no choice. Look. You guys look at the trunk. So bad. It smells like the last driver, they come in here, they pee. Very bad. And all the dirty like this, they don't clean it out. And when you, when you sign agree with the rental, right, you have to check everything like the scar. You see right here? You see? Yeah, if you forget everything, later on they gotta make you pay. But this is, this is already, you know, here, the scratch is already here, you see? So when you, when you do rental car, right, before you drive up from the, the lift, you have to be carefully XM, XMI, everything. Everything you have to examine. Let me show you the dance. Here, look right here. See that? But I already took the picture when I signed the agreement. The tie and everything. I got the car only two days. So, uh, so you hear a lot of people, they say, right, when you do um, rental from live, right, they, they give you a lot of pink day priority for the driver. That is very true. That is very correct. But here is a string attack. I this is my third my third time rent from lip. When you do rental car, right, they give you a lot of ping, but somehow you don't. It's very low. It's very cheap. Like I when I before I rent this car, right, I do my own car. I always get uh. You know about I can cherry pick about one 
minute one dollar or one minute eighty cents. But when you do rent a car, they give you ping, ping, ping constantly. Like they give you a lot of ping, but it's very cheap. It's like you don't get more than fifty cent per minute. You get less. You get uh, less than fifty cent a pip a minute. I would say like that, right? If the ping come thirty uh, minutes, right? They pay on the rental app, right? They have they have the different kind of version. Um, if I see the thirty minutes, right? They pay about fourteen dollar or less, fourteen dollar or less. But with my own car be before, without the rental, with your own car, somehow they pay you more. Okay, but when you do, you guys see here it says Express Drive. See that? See that Express Drive? And this is my personal miles. I already use ten, ten miles. Include everything is two hundred and eighty. Two hundred and eighty. I can do um, one forty on Monday, and one forty on Tuesday. I can do that. But when you do rental, if uh, you hear a lot of people say when you do rental, they give you more ping. They give they make you busy. That is correct. But it came with the cost. It came with a string attack. They give you less. They pay you less. You don't get more than fifty cent. The last two day, I don't get more than um, more than fifty cent per minute, around fifty cent per minute. But you know, because I don't have a car, so I don't have a for now, just for temporary. Okay, so 